morning once again everyone <clears throat> so good morning everybody um learning how to trust yourself is one of the most important things you can do to create the life you want many people are conditioned to con to second guess themselves so this morning we'll be talking about how to stay true to yourself so self-trust simply means consistently staying true to yourself looking at your needs and safety and self-doubt stems from the negative thought or belief that we inherited while growing up and as an adult our job is to examine and question this belief self-trust allows you to be aware of your thoughts and feelings it allows you to express yourself openly and honestly and also gives it allows you to pursue your dream without letting others stop you. Now, self-doubt, on the other hand, creates a discord between who you are and how you act. It makes you feel less of yourself, as if you are not good enough. You tend to criticize yourself the more. You find it difficult to make decisions, and you constantly seek for people's opinion before you make any decision. So self-trust simply means sticking to your principles and showing up fully for yourself and others at all times. So in the subsequent slide, we are going to learn some tips on how to trust yourself and which will automatically meet, make people to trust you as well. So one of the most important ingredients of self-trust is to have self-compassion. Sometimes you have an inner voice within yourself that tells you that your dreams are not valid. They are unrealistic. You cannot achieve them. So those conversations that are going on in your head is only undermining your self-confidence. So you need to practice self-compassion techniques. And that technique is known as the RAIN practice, R-A-I-N. To recognize what exactly is going on, how you are feeling, then you allow the experience to be there. You need to invest, you need to investigate with care and also you nurture your self-esteem. So start, you need to start trusting yourself to make a big decision or to take actions on your dream. You need to permit yourself to do something for yourself every day. So make a list of what, what makes you feel good and you tend to try as much as possible to walk away from things that makes you feel bad. So rather than looking at vulnerability as a sign of weakness, you should see it as an act of bravery. So when you tend to hide the vulnerability, people don't know the real you. Because vulnerability is one of the tools that create a strong relationship between yourself and other people. So if you don't trust yourself, you always find it difficult to say no to people and also to stand against their transgression. So personal, brand, band, personal boundaries allows you to, to teach people on how to treat you and also how you are going to respond when they transgress. So when you establish boundaries for yourself, it helps you to define your likes and your dislikes, what makes you feel comfortable, or what scares you, or what even what upsets you. You can clearly communicate your need to other people. So when you want to get to know yourself very well, you need to start looking inward. Listen to your inner self and emotions. You need to start engaging in activities such as meditation. You can take a long walk. You can even go for swimming. Or you give yourself a treat. So because you matter as well. So when you can't trust yourself, you, 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 you tend to do things because of other people and not because of yourself. Thereby, you are losing your authenticity. So you need to let go of the idea that everybody is supposed to like you. So because when you start staying true to yourself, people of your tribe will tend to what come towards you. In order to trust yourself, you need to clearly define your values and your belief. You need to know when to start saying yes and when to walk away from people. With that, you can start trusting yourself. So you need to also find a way to close your eyes. Imagine yourself in an ideal situation. Think of your bank account and think of you having a certain amount in that account. 
So visualization of yourself is a powerful tool that, 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 that contributes to trusting yourself. Now, you also need to accept that you are not perfect. Remember, everyone makes mistakes and the journey of life is all about growth, which comes as a result of you making mistakes as well as learning from mistakes. So you need to allow yourself to make mistakes. Another tool is you need to be honest with yourself. You need to verbalize your feelings, make people know of your anger. So when you verbalize your feelings, so your anger, your sadness, your pain, it tends to what? Reduce. You should start paying attention to your emotion as well. So another way of doing it is to use the trust model. The trust model allows you to build a healthy and productive conversation with people and with yourself. You must need to start being transparent when you are having discussion with people. You need to ex respect people when you have a discussion with them. Create a win-win situation and something like that. Now, overthinking can cause you to second guess yourself as well. It leads to internal conflict within yourself. Sometimes you need to get out of your head and listen to your gods. That means you need to listen to what your body has to say at that particular time. So your body offers an emotional intelligence that guides you every day. So when you, when you, when you try to suppress your true feelings, you start, what, you start venting anger unnecessarily. So listen to what your God's feeling has to say. Most important, true words, true meditation. So that is the end of my presentation.